Welcome to The One Who Seeks, where you are the one who seeks. My name is Tara. I am your intuitive tarot reader. I use tarot as a tool to open up the channels of your intuition. By tapping into your unawakened subconscious, you will answer the questions that you seek. I am not a psychic, although it may seem like it sometimes. Take what resonates and leave the rest. Always remember, the freedom of choice is your power. Only you can make it happen with your actions. What are you seeking? Right, hello and welcome to the one who seeks. Or you are the one who seeks. What are you seeking? All right, so we got a full moon in Capricorn coming in tonight. Um, if you are the Northern Hemisphere, it's going to be basically at midnight. Okay, if you're Eastern, it's going to be at 9.08 p.m. So, what this reminds me of is Cinderella, right? Because if you're Pacific Time, Cinderella, um, turned back into... Cinderella, again, at midnight, she was no longer this beautiful princess. I mean, she's still a beautiful princess in heart and soul. But the story that is told um, wow, I just have this like overwhelming feeling of just like just like slowing down right now. It was like really hard to talk there for a second. Uh, I could literally feel my brain freezing and like shrinking. It was really weird. Um, so, you know, the story of Cinderella is her father dies. He had remarried this evil woman, uh, her wicked stepmother. There are a couple other siblings there as well who get treated so much better than she ever did she's treated like a maid and um has to do all the cooking and the cleaning and taking care of the land and throughout all of this she has a very happy spirit she's very in touch with nature um she just perseveres she just keeps going she doesn't really let anything stop her um she does have moments of breaking down and crying and um, being overwhelmed and depressed and emotional uh, after some sort of event happens with her stepmother or uh, stepsisters. And the fairy godmother comes one day and there's supposed to be this big ball and the prince is trying to find its bride, his bride, and um, fairy godmother shows up everything's great turns a pumpkin into a carriage she has this beautiful dress on she has these glass slippers and um at midnight though the, she will turn back into uh the maid right she'll turn back into the, the abused um instead of having this fairy tale fantasy happening with the prince and being in love and having a great dance. And, um, so when the strike, the, the clock strikes midnight, the carriage turns back into a pumpkin. She loses her beautiful dress as she's running away from the prince. Uh, cause she hears the, the bell chime she runs down the stairs. She loses one of her glass slippers. And the prince has to find her based on this glass slipper, right? <clears throat> so, you know, the moral of that is that this full moon's really bringing up something of never giving up hope and remaining happy through any circumstance and persevering and pushing forward. Okay, this is the strawberry moon. Strawberries are in harvest. They should be ripe or about to be ripe. 
Uh, strawberries represent love, passion, and healing and abundance. Okay, and the special thing about this full moon is it's also the day after solstice, right? So we're still in solstice, <clears throat> uh, the longest day of the year. It's the summer solstice here on the northern hemisphere. And um, it's really special because it happens only every uh, 19 to 20 years. Right? So it's a very magical experience. It's like a once in a lifetime kind of experience. Well, you know, hopefully it's not a once in a lifetime if it's every 20 years. Um, yeah, obviously most people live longer, but you know, it, you can only have it maybe three, four, or five times in your life. If you're lucky, you get it more. So, all right, let's get into um, lighting these candles. Guys, just put lotion on so I'm like a little slippery. Don't go out, don't go out. Mm-hmm. It's holding on for dear life there. <laughs> yeah, we're going to stay on. Okay, and then I wanted to um, spray the let go, right? Because full moons are about releasing. Anything that isn't serving you, any negativity, um... Any situation in your life that uh, is not working out. Uh, any old pent up emotions get let out at this time. So we're going to let it go. <sighs> Whatever it is that's ailing you, that your mind keeps reeling on. Um, it's time to let that go. So... Uh, at this time, I would like to call in the angels of loving nature to help support us and guide us as the collective. We all need to come together to make this world better for you and me. Uh, collaboration is the key. Moving forward is the key. Let me be a clear and open channel for the messages coming through today for the collective. Thank you for being here. Any energies that are not of loving nature, I thank you for your service and I ask you to leave. All right, we are protected. We have a malleable bubble around us. Bouncing anything off that does not serve us and our energy field. Releasing. Okay. Um, let's see here. I got some notes here. So, um, the strawberry moon, uh, it is June 21st, 2024, by the way. Uh, it's pushing you to open up your mind and, um, and your spirit to new horizons. Okay, and then I did write down some things that I either researched or just came to mind that was intuitive. Uh, so I did write down the seven of wands for that, for pushing um, to open up your mind and your spirit. And this is about long distance travel, overseas relationships, um, which I immediately went to the military draft, right? Uh, makes me think of military overseas relationships and they are now about to have another mandatory draft and it sounds like they're even including women in this um, ages like 18 to 35 or something like that um, hopefully that is not going to actually happen 
Um, but that's what's in the news right now. And it's what it made me think of when I saw that. Uh, international business. You might be having some business overseas. Um, you're going to make a sudden decision, which is representative of the Tower card and things happening suddenly um, without any kind of indication that that's going to happen beforehand. Or maybe there was an indication, but you've been ignoring it for so long and not maintenancing it. So it is now crumbling and it is uh, happening suddenly. All right, uh, it's about relocation and immigration, which is uh, the Six of Swords, which is um, moving on, getting out of rough waters, moving on to calmer waters, getting out of a bad situation and moving forward into something good. Okay, and this is a full moon in Capricorn, even though we are in cancer season right now. Um, it is the first of two full moons in Capricorn for this year, and the next one is going to be on July 21st. So one month exactly. It is June 21st now, July 21st then. Okay, but it does surround the Cancer New Moon, it sandwiches together. So I do have a Capricorn and the Cancer out here because of that. And um, we are sandwiching this, this Cancer energy with releasing, we are releasing. Let me see my... Uh, Okay, let's talk about our Capricorn here. Yep, I'm going to my notes. So Capricorn and Cancer are both opposite each other on the Zodiac wheel uh, in the houses. And here we go. So Capricorn is the goat. Okay. And this is about times of extremes because um, it is a part of a, the hinge. Well, no, because the hinge is actually your cardinal quality, right? And Capricorn's about winter, and that is the longest night. And we are in cancer season right now, which is the longest day. So it's extreme opposites. And uh, Capricorn is about authority, administrator, strategist, and a hermit. Okay, and then uh, cancer is very emotional. Right, they're more about uh, their emotions rather than being authoritative and having some sort of command, right? Which also reminds me of the military, right? But since we are sandwiching cancer, I don't feel like we're like trying to smother out that mothering, nurturing feeling of cancer. In some way I got wax all over the place just wax particles okay um, so we don't really want to smother out our emotions and our feelings we really need to be tapping into them and breaking through this like Oreo sandwich so to speak um, and not letting others suppress us or our feelings. We need to let those emotions out and uh, do it full force. Okay, 
Okay, let's clear the energy. let's get into it those are just my notes um and I did find it really interesting that um uh, we have the sandwich of these two full moons in Capricorn and it's about traveling long distances and um I'm about to go on a trip to Tahoe with my husband and my dog and um on my birthday is the new moon in Cancer on July 5th and then I also have a trip to Mount Shasta at the end of July after the next full moon in Capricorn and it's a woman's retreat to um, heal any of my shadows and um, get rid of that crazy brain so I just found it really interesting that I had that sandwich there myself just personally between the Capricorn and the Cancer energies and I had just uh, been watching um, Dove and Serpent Tarot uh, it's Paul and he's on YouTube look him up I love him he's great and um, he had one up for Capricorn and I was really drawn to it. Even though I don't have Capricorn in my birth chart, it is completely opposite of my sun sign. So um, I wanted to, to watch that and see what messages were coming through because there's something about the opposites right now. It's almost like magnets. When you try to put two together, depending on which way they're flipped, they're either going to have this force where it pushes uh, both magnets apart or you turn one over and then they're going to stick right so we want to stick we don't want this opposing force that's like you're really struggling here right to get these things together Okay, so I have a lot of decks out here. I really am loving all the colors that are popping out. Uh, vibrant, fresh, uh, a feel-good energy. And um, we really need that right now. We need to be concentrating on gratitude, things that we're grateful for. And um, anything else that's going on in your life that's a negative aspect, you really need to put down right now. Because in this full moon, it's going to accentuate that. And so we want to accentuate your gratitude more than all your, your shortcomings or things that you feel like are in lack, right? So let's concentrate on abundance and being grateful for the things that we have, for this planet Earth, for water, for food, for shelter, for your family, your loved ones, whatever it is for you. Whatever it is. It could be your job. It could be that you are just grateful for, you know, the, the selenite here. Uh, it could be the smallest little thing. Or it could be something really big. But we want to concentrate on that gratitude. Okay. And I am going to use the dog tarot. It is not a full deck. I'll see if it even says how many there are. Nope. So it's not a complete full deck. And I was um, a little torn if I wanted to use that or not for my spread because uh, it doesn't have all the cards. And I am going to use the Alice in Wonderland deck as a clarifier if we need some clarification. But the full moon is about illuminating things that are unseen. 
right? There are secrets within the moon. And I feel like those are being withheld, right? So in this deck, some of the cards are withheld. Some of the things you are not going to be able to see. You're going to have to go with your gut feeling. Okay, I was going to grab something and I totally forgot what it was. So <laughs> anyway, um, let's get into it because I feel like this is already super long. So we're going to start off with, um, so we don't want to do these yet. I did try to pull out all like my moon type cards for this and I did like the dog tarot because you know there there are two dogs or there's a wolf and a dog uh, depending on your deck uh, on the moon card and dogs hell at the moon right so there was my correlation there okay and these ones I'm going to do last, but these I'm going to do first. Okay. Oh, I'm just going to grab my spread. Let's see. Okay. All right, so let's see. Spirit, what is it that we need to know as a collective on this full moon day? I feel like that one wants to pop out. Nothing will come of the situation. Void, of course, moon. Hmm. Interesting. That's really interesting for something that like right off the bat these two want to pop out it's time to take action new moon in aries and the answer you need the answers you need are coming full moon in gemini so this one is interesting here let's read that one and that's the oracle Monology Oracle. Nothing will come of the situation. Okay. One o two. That's a three. That's about harmony. I oh, know that's creation, and um. getting together with others, community. Okay, nothing will come in this situation. Void, of course, moon. In a form of astrology known as Horary, where an astrological chart is casting according to when the question is asked and decoded. A void of course moon means nothing will come of this matter or this situation will bear no fruit. Oh, wow. So we we're just in the strawberry full moon, which means it's, it's ripe for the picking. It's time. It's harvest. Um, and if you have no fruit, then what have you been doing? Uh, how did that happen? Like, what's going on? Is there something wrong with the plant? Um, are you not watering it? Are you not giving it the nutrients it needs in order to grow? This may or may not be good news, depending on what you're asking. For example, if you're worried about something, whatever it was, the card can be taken as a sign that there is nothing to worry about. Okay, well, that's good. 
And we were just talking about if you have any worries, put it down. However, if you're asking about a new project of any kind, including a new relationship, it's a sign to adjust your expectations or change things so you get a different outcome. Remember, the cards can only predict what you are currently creating. And you can change that with your both your behavior and beliefs. Okay, I trust in my highest good. Uh, the chances of something are dimi diminishing. Something better may be around the corner. Believe that you will get what you need. Surrender to the divine. Take time out, meditate, and contemplate. Okay. The main defi definition of the void of course moon is the moon won't make a major connection with any of the planets until she enters the next sign, which is Cancer. The best thing you could do when you get this card is to chant the Sanskrit words Om Namo Narayani which means I surrender to the divine. A void of course moon is time to just be. Okay, so it's basically just sitting still, uh, really meditating and thinking about things. Um, not even thinking about things. It's like letting them go, right? When you meditate, you let things come in, but just as quickly as they come in, you want to let them go. You don't want to sit on them and dwell on them. But it did say to sit, so maybe you do need to sit in it. Let's see, 103. It's time to just be. Okay, so just be. All right. Don't be worried about anything. Don't be thinking about anything too serious. Okay. Um, and then we have here, it's time to take action. The answers you need are coming. It's a little bit contradictory, I feel like. If you want to sit and meditate, you're not really taking action. Um, but meditation is actually a, a source of action. It doesn't really seem like it because uh, you're just sitting there. It's just like if you were doing this exercise, it's, it's called static back, where you literally just lay on the floor. Um, you know, you have a certain position that you need to have your arms and your legs and things like that. But you're just laying on the floor and it really helps to align your spine. So let's see. Take action. The answers you need are coming. Okay, so the action of meditating are go is going to give you the answer. Right, whatever it is that you're searching for here. Whatever it is you're moving towards. Whoa, geez. Okay, well, those ones wanted to pop out, so let's go with those. So we have New Moon in Pisces, Attuned to the Divine. Yeah, that's meditation. New Moon in Gemini, Think It Through. Mm hmm. It's like the Hermit energy there. Full moon, we got a lot of new moons and full moon, new moon, and then the void. Okay, full moon and Sagittarius, see the bigger picture. Okay, and then full moon and Cancer, let your fears dissolve. Okay. I do see a lot of travel here that you know, this you know, these are different areas. This is mirrored here. Um, this is the twins. This also kind of reminds me of uh, like twin flame. I can kind of see like a bat here. Or um, originally I saw like a dog head, but then I saw the bat immediately afterwards, just within the coloring here. Spread your wings. 
All right, really deep dive into your meditation because uh, that's going to help you see this bigger picture and release the fears and the worry, right? Oh, that one wants to jump out. Venus, love. It's a four. That's about foundation, which I was talking about the tower card, which I was channeling, which is also about foundations. The foundation is crumbling, right? So something new is going to be coming in. Pisces, I believe. That's a six. That's harmony. And we have moon, soul which is a two, and that's about unity. Interesting. So we do have 4242, which might mean something to someone. Love, I believe, soul. So you might be having some sort of fear about a love situation overseas, right? So we were talking about migration and long distance travel and an overseas relationship. Um, and you know, you're scared about this because you don't know what's going to happen, but you just need to release those fears um, and believe. All right, you're gonna feel it in your soul and there's gonna be a lot of love here. All right, so let's get into the tarot. All So this is you. <laughs> okay, and we got a, a cat in here in the dog tarot. Okay. Something about like fighting like cats and dogs. Um I do see some self-care here. Uh, this reminds me of like the woman's retreat I'm gonna go on. Um, very similar to that. So we have the three of bowls, the wheel of fortune, the couch, and the cat. So I think that the bowls are more of um, representing a pinnacle. And these are golden bowls. And that is about your finances and tangible things. It could also be about your spirituality. And three is about being creative, right? And the Wheel of Fortune is about spinning the wheel and seeing what it lands on. I'm trying to see what this says here, if, I can, if it even actually is words. Uh, east, south, west, north. So once again, we have um, like a compass here of like travel. Which way are you going? I do feel like you're feeling really good about this. And you, you are relaxing. You are just chilling out. You're doing self-care. Um... <laughs> This could even be almost like uh, a depression, I feel like, because there's all these snacks here and then there's a, a bottle of champagne, you know, and sometimes like when you get depressed, you'll eat a lot and you'll eat junk food and you'll just sit on the couch and maybe you'll even drink a little. Um, but because this dog has the slippers and the face mask for sleeping, I do feel like it's more of a meditative, just relaxing, chilling out, just having a good time, just with yourself and your thoughts. Uh, maybe there's somebody pestering you here. You know, cats could be a little pestery sometimes. And definitely, you know, the cat is the queen of the house, right? Um, or the king. 
and they really rule the roost of the home, right? And this dog is kind of quivering a little bit and like bowing down to this cat. Um, so you are the cat, right? You are the king or queen of this, this domain here. You are in control. This is like Capricorn energy. You are in control. You have the authority to make the decisions for the others that are around you as well. Not just yourself, right? So that could be your family. Okay, this is them. The hydrant. The hang dog. Supposed to be like the hanged man. Oh, poor baby. <laughs> okay. The kibble. Interesting, because we got food right under the food. And then the seven of leashes. I feel like you have a big family because you have seven here. Maybe you have seven children or there's seven people in your family. Um, that could even represent like you, your husband, your three kids and your two dogs or something. Or your, your two cats or your cat and your dog. Um, <laughs> this person really wants to offer you these traits as well. Right? I see that you are... Uh, I, you have some self-care here and you really enjoy these snacks and I want to offer that to you. Um, this other person here is, is very like hydrated. Um, I even feel like maybe this person could be a firefighter. And something about, there, something's being turned upside down. Looks like he is, this dog is inside of a, like an RV. And it, it's like it flipped. Everything seems to be kind of floating. Uh, we have these flowers that are upside down, the bowls upside down, this key is just floating around. There's something about, uh, here's the leash here as well, right? And this is about like the hanged man and seeing a different perspective of something. But this one almost feels, oh, this is like the very sudden, unexpected tower moment of maybe like um, some sort of a... A car accident or something and you were you were towing a trailer right um this person was towing a trailer or they were in the trailer or something strange like that um and it did flip over but it doesn't seem to be holding this person back at all they, you know, definitely are very sad right here. And like, this is even, if you look at the land here, <clears throat> this is the way that the card's supposed to be. So you are definitely sideways and you're still rolling here, or this person is still rolling. Um, that maybe that's just something that's in their mind, right? Maybe they're going over and over again about, you know, like thinking of you. You make them feel like this, very happy, excited. You have the things that you love. You have the things that you need, like the water to hydrate yourself. Dogs also love to pee on hydrants, most of them, right? So like being able to relieve yourself, um, you know, being comfortable like this is your home and, you know, dogs mark, right? Like this is mine. And then other dogs will come up behind it and pee on it. And then you got to trump the pee uh, to be the leader, to be the queen. Uh, 
um, this dog is also protected here from the sun and the rain because we have the rainbows here. In order to get rainbows, you need the sun and the rain to create the light pre prism, create the rainbow. So, you know, here we have the sun and we have the rain, right? Because this person is a little um, back and forth, right? The, the authority, the control, the kind of out of control right here. You know, their feelings, their thoughts about you. Uh, is having them reeling, right? And then we also have the, the Wheel of Fortune, which is like about risk and uh, taking a chance on something like luck, winning the lottery, winning the spin, right? So we have the spinning here. Maybe you are thinking about each other. I feel like this person is a little bit more submissive and probably is the cancer and you are more of the Capricorn the authoritative aspect of this relationship okay and then let's find out what the relationship is this is a love relationship it looks like a love relationship already uh, kind of feels like you don't really care too much about whether or not you're in this relationship. Okay, seven of bowls. The oracle, the oracle? Uh, it's like the oracle, but I don't know. It's like a weird spelling, something I've never seen. Okay, one of bowls. in the three of leashes. Okay, so I feel like we got this like strong theme of three, I feel like. It starts with a three, it ends with a three. Okay, this is the relationship. Um, I feel like somebody is just like hearing things from afar. There's this birdie, it's like a messenger telling this dog here with really large ears really good for listening it's almost like somebody listening at a door with their ear to the door kind of feeling like you know you get your cup and you put it up against the door so that you can hear better um this kind of reminds me of a marriage here as well maybe this person um is thinking about asking you to marry them and offering their abundance with you and offering some travel so spirituality we have um, foundation again this is about starting new so starting something new and being creative. Let's see, let's find out about the seven of bulls. I do wanna know about this too. Okay. Alrighty. So I just happened to hit kibble. Uh, the kibble represents your dog's deepest survival needs and carries profound implications. Hmm. Survival needs, huh? Let's see, this is about you. Know, um, this accident here, I think. And here's the hydrant. The hydrant is the card of ultimate self-expression, the dog's desire to assert himself beyond human boundaries. It can also indicate a clash of wills. Wills. 
Human on one side, canine on the other side. Interesting, because it's like that cat, dog. Um, oh, here we go. Here's the oracle. <laughs> the oracle is a card of awareness and intuition. It honors the canine ear and is radar-like ability to detect sound beyond human range. The message for humans who draw the oracle is pay attention to your surroundings and follow your dog's lead into the realm of vibration. Dogs help those who help themselves. You know, dogs like follow you around all the time. This could be like puppy love, right? So, and then there's the moon there with the dog, right? The moon is the card of joy and expansiveness. It speaks to your dog's deepest heart. All right, where's the bowls? I want the bowls. Oh, look, and the couch. The couch is a symbol of possessiveness of a dog's uh, ex, ex <laughs> and often unjustified feelings of entitlement and power. And the Wheel of Fortune. It's funny, I'm just like hopping to all the ones. I uh, guess there's not that many cards. So the Wheel symbolizes the never-ending cycle of change and hidden forces that move all beings towards their true destiny. All right, I want the bowls. Bowls, bowls, bowls. Here we go. Bowls. That's right. These ones are uh, just, see, so they only have the one, the three, and the seven of bowls. That's it. We don't have all the rest of them. So the bowls, the one of bowls suggests you address the issue if you, your concern with an utterly open heart, right? Putting aside any suspicion, suspicion that may arise. It serves as a reminder that human, the human point of view tends to be narrow. The one of bowls advises you to broaden your vision by invoking your imagination as a way of intuiting, intuiting your pet's perspective. Okay, and then we have all the bowls here. So the three of bowls indicates harmony, warmth, and trust in relationships. It is the card of love, faith, and hope, right? Which is strawberries. Fill your bowl with the strawberries and suggest an optimistic, balanced outcome to the issue of your concern. Interesting. So we did get the card of there is no, there is no harvest. Like the strawberries didn't grow and we have empty bowls here. So uh, I feel like you have trust issues with relationships. Okay, and then the seven of bowls represents emotional fulfillment and your pet's desire for calm and clarity in her relationship with you and others who share your home. Right, so here's that. It also signifies the happiness that comes from simple pleasures, a shared sunset, a soft scratch behind the ears, kind words, and peanut butter smeared treat after a difficult day, right? <laughs> so I do feel like you have some trust issues here. Uh, if this person can feel that. And so they're feeling kind of a little bit of a lack, but they want to offer you a lot. And so they're trying to keep their ears open to find out more about you. Well, I wanted to get this three of leashes here. Okay, the three of leashes suggests that you are being focused, fair, and effective in your approach to balancing your relationship with your dog. The card also serves an affirmation that equilibrium is best achieved through praise and reward rather than manipulation and fear. And that you already understand this principle very well. Okay. 
So I do feel like you've been the top dog in your life for quite a while. Um, making your own decisions and doing whatever you want. And this person wants to come in, but you're quite unsure about it. You're not sure that you want to give up this personal time and give your time to somebody else, this other person here. And this person really wants this from you. And they're waiting for the right time. That spur of the moment. That sudden change to when they can come in and deal with this with you and help ease whatever it is that you're feeling about this, right? And it's putting this person in a position where they're feeling upside down, like they're happy and then they're sad and they don't really know which way to go. Uh, the wheel keeps on spinning, right? So your situation here. is there really is a lot of abundance here. There's a lot of happiness. This is about um, like feeding the soul, right? There's plenty of food to go around. And this person wants to share it with you. Okay, the unseen is the fact that when you spin this wheel of fortune, you have no idea what it's going to land on. And I just noticed there's a full moon here as well. You have no idea what this is going to land on. And when you're done spinning, you don't know which way things are going to be facing. Yeah, these are upside down here. Or actually, they're technically sideways. <laughs> the dog here is actually sideways. And then, you know, these are all sideways too, but it's showing as upside down. Uh, there, Don't lose this key. I feel I'm hearing don't lose the key. You know, let me out. I'm hearing like this is scary this is unpredictable all right I gotta listen to the messages here there are messages coming through you really need to open up and listen right and if you're meditating you're opening yourself up to new horizons and you're really listening to the messages that are coming through And you, you know, you have this little reef here in your head. Uh, it feels like marriage. And then you have this arch here, which feels like marriage. And you don't know that this person here is thinking about this, that they really do want to marry you. You might have an indication that they want to get closer to you, but you don't know how deep it goes and um here we have some flowers right here they're offering the key to their heart they're giving you some flowers they're wanting to offer you some food uh you know support in life and family right offer you some travel there's definitely something turbulent going on here Okay, so let's look at that. I want to see, uh, Spirit, can I please get clarification on the, the hang dog? Four of Wands. Oh, shit. That's a marriage. <laughs> that's marriage right there. That's 1111. That's Twin Flame energy. Um, twin Flames are here to help you with lessons, right? It's not an easy relationship. I get this card all the time. Wow, we have the devil and we have the musician, right? So there's some sort of like manipulation going on. Um, the foundation is very unsteady. 
And here we have a bunch of cats again, right? Maybe you are just a cat person and this is a dog person and you're not sure how it's gonna work together. How are we gonna combine these families? Cause I'm really into my cats and we sit around and we have snacks together. Alright, and my whole trailer just shook back and forth. I don't know if my dog readjusted on the sofa. <laughs> but that was a little weird. Okay. Um kind of felt like earthquake. <sighs> Definitely something about tricks. Um being shackled within your own mind. Uh, you know, here we go again. We have more destruction, things breaking, and more food. <laughs> yeah, so much food. It is uh, six o'clock. It's about having harmony. And then the magician, you know, could be very manipulative. They're telling you to look one way and doing something behind their back or behind your back or basically right in front of your face. Um, but you don't notice it because you're being distracted. I definitely think that you have a huge fear around commitment and love and moving forward with this person um, because you don't have a lot of trust. There's definitely some things that happened in your past to so maybe you had some bad relationships before and you're feeling really good right now and you're on the top of your game and you don't really need anybody else. Um, Cause you're feeling so good just on your own. You know, you're kind of married to yourself here. You're married to your kitties and the things that you are doing. But this person does want love with you. They do believe that you are their twin flame and this is that whole uh, runner chaser aspect, right? And you just needed to um, sit once again and just be in your thoughts and let it dissolve like smoke here, right? Think about it, let it go. So that we don't have this destruction of going round and round. Mm-hmm. Okay, and then we have um, the action that you need to take. Once again, it says just kind of sit there, just be, just be you. Right? Don't really take in much action. There's not a lot of action that you need to take here. There is an offering. Okay. You just need to sit back. This person is going to make the offering. But it's up to you to make that decision. All right, and so the outcome here, I, I think that you are very reluctant. I wanna see these leashes again. Okay, seven of leashes suggest that your pet wants more, a better quality, playtime with other dogs. It counsels you maybe holding the leash way too tightly when your dog tries to sniff and make contact with her own species. Mm -hmm. So there's that energy vibe with a dog and a human relationship that if you're holding on to the leash, that energy is moving through that leash. So whatever you're feeling, if you're feeling afraid, 
the dog is going to feel afraid. Right? Um, what's that guy's name? The dog whisperer guy. Um, oh, jeez. I don't know. I love him, too. I can't even think of his name right now. But it's, it's always about the human's fault. If a dog is acting out, it's because of your energy as the human who is making that energy go through. Okay, while well, they're trying to talk to others. So maybe you are, you know, because you don't really want to be in this relationship. You don't want to be in a steady relationship, but maybe you are still like dating other people. And so you're trying to decide, right? You're still sniffing others out. It's okay to supervise and keep a watchful eye, but let dogs be with dogs. Okay, so this person basically just needs to loosen up on the leash for you. They're, they're very, like, persistent, and you're so unsure about it that it's actually pushing this person away more. Okay, and then we have the three again. Being focused, fair, effective in your approach to balancing your relationship with your dog. The card serves as an affirmation that equilibrium is best achieved through praise and reward rather than manipulation and fear. And that you already understand this principle very well. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. This person is really um, allowing you to have your boundaries, though. So that you can fill yourself out um, rather than being, like, manipulative, right? Because when you start offering a bunch of things to somebody, it's kind of a manipulation. It's... Um, you know, you might not like me, but I know you really like these treats, so why don't you come on over here? That kind of sounded very pedophile-ish, um, the way that just came out. So, I don't, I don't know what's up with that. Um, but, you know, it's... So, maybe you had deal, dealt with somebody who was a pedophile in your past... And this is triggering some sort of um, response to that. It's a trigger. It's a past life trigger. Okay, and this person really is. They're, they're loosening up this leash and giving you um, the space to be yourself to go out and meet new people. It doesn't even have to be that you are dating a bunch of people. It could just be that you're going out and having fun and you're meeting new people. And this person understands that you need that. And they're really kind of letting you do your thing so that you can figure it out. And then if in time you decide that you want to be with this person, you know that you're very well supported and you're going to release that fear of feeling tied down. Because look here, you are like Wonder Dog. Free. Right? And that's how you want it to be. And you don't want anybody to tighten up that, that leash. And hold you down. And keep you from doing the things that you want to do. Okay, so... Let's see, what is the question, the yes or no question that we want to know? Um, are you going to give this person the chance that they deserve to be with you? Are you going to allow them to show you what they have to offer you and how they won't tie you down? Are you going to make the decision to move towards this person? No. Oh, no. You tried catching the bird of luck. Oh, see? So we got the bird here. 
by its tail, but you miss the best moment to do so. Still, luck always returns. Okay, so maybe they've already asked you out several times and you've already said no, right? And this is about luck here. So luck always returns. Birds will come back. Situations present other options, right? Because this is you over here kind of sniffing the other dogs. Happiness is only a matter of luck and timing anyway. So I feel like maybe the time isn't right right now. Expect huge changes in your life to attract a colorful and enjoyable atmosphere. It doesn't get luckier than that. Interesting. So expect huge changes in your life to attract a colorful and enjoyable atmosphere. Hmm. I want to know more about that. What is the, um, the huge change in your life that's going to attract a colorful and enjoyable atmosphere if it's not you moving towards this person? Holy cow. So, Six of Swords, that's the one I channeled. Six of Swords, that's the relocate... Uh, immigrate if that's about moving on to calmer waters so you can see how rocky it is over here and how calm it is over here once again we have a full moon so there's something to be about this person who feels very rocky and unstable six of pentacles two sixes and the chariot Um, so I do see again, that you're out and about here with other people. So maybe you hung out with this person because we did have this card here, right? And here they are here. So you left the situation because something about it felt uncomfortable. This like runner chaser aspect felt very uncomfortable. Um, this person might be a little bit broken, right? Maybe they have triggers of their own that they need to deal with and uh, illuminate and take care of. So here you are just going out and having a good time, right? With yourself, like, I don't know who these people are. They're just kind of hanging out, bending over backwards, watching what you're doing. Maybe they're um, a little jealous or something because they've kind of got like a grumpy face here. But here you are, you, you're feeling good now and you're just playing golf or whatever it is here that you're playing. And Chariot, it's about fast movement, which is also a cancer card. So it's about going deep within yourself to figure it out what you really want so that you can move forward. And I feel like you just, um, you really want to be alone right now. You want to be on your own. Okay. And in regards to this no, we want to know how or when this is going to happen. Okay. The time of tedious waiting is running out but not until after eight to nine months. The time for more opportunities to realize your full potential is coming. Your incredible ability to expand your mind with the depth of generosity can help you to easily catch luck by the tail. Interesting, because we had luck by the tail here, and yet we have this card here that also says luck by the tail. Let's see. Uh, now that you have it, don't let go. All right, so 
I feel like this person's going to come back around in another eight to nine months. Right? And that's after you've spent a lot of time alone. And then that will be the time for them to be able to come back. Right. So this is a, a twin flame for sure. And you are playing this game of the runner and the chaser and you are being chased right now. And this person is running towards you. Okay. something about like maybe you turn around and you grab this person by the tail maybe you're, you squeeze their butt or something you know what i mean like an affectionate um kind of um action maybe you're finally starting to see the depth of this person and their generosity says your generosity but this is the person here that is offering you some generosity so eventually you will grab onto this and you won't let it go you'll realize yeah this is the person for me but um you need to go work on yourself and this person also needs to kind of go work on themselves. You guys have some healing to do on your own before you can come together and actually have this huge abundance together. Trust. Oh, wow. Right? We were talking about how you don't trust. When love is invited to take over, right actions arise at the right time allow me dear divine to wait patiently until the timing is right let me rest in the unknown until a clear path is shown whoa i don't think i could have clarified that any better than what that just summed up this whole reading I'm not going to pick another one. That's it. That's it. All right. I'm going to read it again. I'm going to read that again. Trust. When love is invited to take over, right actions arise at the right time. See? Divine timing. Eight to nine months. Now is not the right time. Allow me, dear divine. We're talking about releasing ourselves to the divine, to meditating. To wait patiently until the timing is right. Okay, we're just waiting here. We're waiting here. We're just kind of sitting here and waiting. This person is really waiting patiently till the time is right. Let me rest in the unknown until a clear path is shown. Okay, and here you are. You're resting. You're figuring out your way. This person is resting in the unknown until they hear something right grabbing it by the tail right there until they hear something that makes them realize now is the right timing you are ready i am ready let's do this let's 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 get together Create a family. I have some offerings for you. I'll take care of you. But you'll have your freedom. Right? You'll have your own freedom here. I'm not going to tie you down. Which is what the devil is, right? It's tying you down. But you can always get away from that, right? So we're not concentrating on that. <laughs> okay. Okay. We're concentrating on the trust. The trust in yourself, the trust in this other person. 
so that you can move forward and have this beautiful, abundant twin flame relationship that you'll never want to let go of. And it brings you great messages from afar. Right? So maybe you're out traveling right now. This person might even be traveling, but they're not having as great of a time as you are. Or maybe that's just the distance between you and it's making them very sad. Because you're out doing something. You might even be part of the military. Okay. Well, that's it. Wow. <laughs> that's it. Yeah. Uh, we are like an hour and 15 minutes into this. <laughs> um, all right. Well, be safe out there this full moon and really concentrate on your gratitude and what you're grateful for. Sit and meditate. Don't make any rash decisions. It's all about sitting with the energy and really feeling it in your gut and in your intuition and not pushing it when the time isn't right. Okay, trust. All right. Um, I love all you guys. Thank you for being here. And if you found this to be um, interesting or you got good messages out of it or you know somebody who could really hear this message, please share like and subscribe really helps out my channel really helps me out um yeah you'll be moving to calmer waters eight to nine months okay love y'all bye I want to thank you and our angels for being present for the messages that have come through in this reading. If you found this to be helpful, please like and share this content so others can benefit as well. Seek the subscribe button and don't forget to get notifications so you never miss a reading. The more love you share, the more love you receive. And you can find more love right here in these other videos. For more information about this channel, personal readings, swag, and donations, check the links in the description box.